Hey guys, it's Tim here with the Talking Tech YouTube channel, and I brought Google Glass to my Las Vegas holiday trip last week, and I thought I'd bring you guys a Google Glass photo test and video test, and I compiled a ton of footage and a ton of photos, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. So Google Glass has a 5 megapixel sensor that records in 720p on the front of it right next to the projector prism and as you can see it handles nighttime footage quite well. There is a lot of grain in the video but keep in mind that that's to be expected. Also keep in mind that Google Glass does everything automatically. I don't control anything, I don't control the focus, I don't control the ISO, it does it all by itself and it does a pretty darn good job. Google Glass doesn't have the best camera in the world, but it accomplishes that first-person point of view feel when taking photos and videos. When it comes to broad daylight, Google Glass really is phenomenal. It definitely does record a very good video, but in addition, even when I'm walking, it has amazing video stabilization. It's really cool and I really could see myself using this in the future. I also wanted to mention that Google Glass's camera is extremely wide angle. I oftentimes found myself not looking at the thing I wanted to be looking at. I really hope that Google adds some sort of pinch to zoom feature in the future. Before I talk about the photo quality of Google Glass, I wanted to cover the audio quality, which is really important, especially if you're in a loud environment such as Vegas, and I'm happy to say that Google Glass captures all of my audio, even in the loudest of environments. It's actually really impressive, and it, it's a really important feature because you have to utilize your voice to control half of what Google Glass can do.
As you could tell, the hotel wasn't the quietest place, and every voice command I gave Google Glass was accurate, and Google Glass knew when to stop, even though there was still being sound produced by the outer environment, which is really impressive. Now onto the photos that Google Glass produced. Like I mentioned earlier, Google Glass does have a 5 megapixel sensor on the front of it, and in my opinion, Google Glass shines when taking photos. The photos that Google Glass took in my experiences were very sharp and crisp. I didn't find one photo that wasn't like that. Even though I was moving around everywhere and I was pressing the capture button or giving the capture voice command, it still shot a frame that was extremely sharp and crisp and I couldn't be more happy with it. In addition, Google Glass automatically adjusts to what it needs to focus on and none of the photos turn out to be blurry. I did find though that some of the photos are poorly exposed, but overall it does do a pretty good job most of the time. Going back to what I was saying earlier, photos and videos on Google Glass are extremely grainy in darker conditions, but that's to be expected because the ISO gets so high automatically. You can't really do anything about it, but it does do a pretty good job. I definitely did get some nice shots on Google Glass's camera, such as this one and a few before, and I definitely am impressed with such a small camera on such a small device. I can't wait to see what's in store software-wise for Google Glass, and there's definitely a ton of software that can be made that utilizes the camera, such as tons of augmented reality games, face recognition, a ton of stuff. Stay tuned for more videos about Glass, including a software tour, which I'm actually working on right now, which should be up tomorrow, which is Saturday. That's going to cover everything about Google Glass, so it's definitely going to be a very good video for you to watch because not a lot of people own Glass. Uh, it's a limited product and it's in beta right now, so keep that in mind. But in addition, I'll be doing a gaming test as well as a top 5 apps video pretty soon as well as a review. So keep that in mind and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. I hope this video was good even though it wasn't as informative as say a software tour. So just stay tuned for more videos. There's a ton more to come. I'll see you guys in the next video.